Hello again, lovelies. One more bag to unbox. I have really fallen off the uh, yarn diet, but I was good for a long time. So, and I did do a lot of those mystery bags. So I I unloaded or destashed a lot of uh, the yarn that I did have. And thank you all that that bought those or donated to the to the cause of our charity. Um, I think the new charity we're gonna put a hold on the mental health and meows. Um, if you had seen the video with, with Rusty and her health issues, um, I think maybe I'm going to switch the charity over to whatever I raise and sell um, is all going to go to help her pay her medical bills. She has no insurance. It's, it's very, it, it blows my mind that in this country, People, if you have a job that you just barely can survive on and pay your bills, you make too much to be able to get insurance. And I just don't understand why neither of my children have insurance. Both have health issues. And anyway, her bills are going to be um, pretty high. And she still hasn't paid the astronomical price for her having to get her that whole hysterectomy thing done that you know she's you know you're making let me eat or pay pay a hospital I mean yeah I mean food and gas to get to work but anyway enough of that um, I'm sure a lot of you know what I'm talking about but anyway so that's gonna be the anything I sell is gonna go towards her medical bills and um, if you're so inclined and you want to help out That'd be fabulous. My PayPal is on the about page. Anyway, um, this is from Markers Merchantile. Markers Merchantile. I do not believe that I have ever ordered from them. And I don't even know why. I guess they must have sent an email or something. So let's dig in and see what we've got in here. Just one big heavy bag. And I probably should be careful with the scissors. Okay, I don't need the scissors because I will cut myself. And again, sorry for the bouncing. Just deal with it. Pretend like you're on a ride at the amusement park. All right, what do we have in here? Let's set the bag down gently. And, all righty. Ooh. Okay. Not sure what the... Um, I love the colors. I love the transition of the colors. And there's, let's see, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, you know me in that. So 12 little balls or donuts. Yeah, they're definitely donuts. Oh my God. Oh, that's just yarn aliciousness. All righty. So I'm going to take one of each out so we can show you the, tell you the colorway. Oh, stay in the bag. Okay, it, oh, how am I going to say this word? Shulana. These are Shulana Fashion Silk. Shulana Fashion Silk. And they have, come on, really? Why do they put the information on the inside of the donut? All right, and I should have put an overhead light on because I can't see the small print. Well, it's a 50 gram, oh, what's this? Okay, it's 85% silk, 15% polyamide or nylon. Oh, polyamide is nylon, I did not know that. Anyway, aren't those gorgeous? I'm gonna venture to say it's like, oh, it's a, it's a cool, twirly type yarn. I hope you could see that because I can't see Jack Diddley do right now. Um, yeah, it's silk. Really super soft. I want to see if it's stretchy. And yeah, it's a little stretchy. That's going to be fun. Um, I might have had an idea of what I was going to do with it, but oh God, I'm so sorry that you're bouncing like all over the place. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know what my thoughts were. Um, I didn't, did I say how much is in there? I don't know if I did. Again, brain issues. Okay. There's so many languages. 
I don't know how much is in here. I don't know if I said it or, or, or not. I just said it, how many. <sighs> Sorry. It's not my fault. Um, I can't. Yeah, it's there's yeah no never mind it's it, it's that amount of yardage <laughs> and and meterage okay next item up for oh up for looking at okay ma makers merchantile got a little in oh it gave me an invoice with prices okay so for so each of these each donut was four dollars um the colorways were celery, green, how original, and honeydew. All right, so honeydew was the lightest green, celery was the medium green, and green was the green green. Um, so it was $16 for the four balls of each color. All right, well, this is good. I love when they give you invoices and tell you what you bought. All right, so random one ball of seriously? I'm hoping there's more of those I don't unless they were out of it that happens cool oh my gosh why did I buy this all right so you have that colorway there and those colorways so in one bag there's eight Hanks. Am I adding correctly? Seven Hanks? Let's see if we could find that on here. All right, so, oh my. All right, each Hank was $15. I'm really surprised because it looks like that's, that's this is definitely a one weight. Why did I buy this? I have no idea. Because that's a, like thread yarn. Wow. I'm I think I did do this order really like in the middle of the night when I couldn't sleep, which is happening a lot. I hope you guys are are able to sleep. I know I've been having a heck of a time. Anyway, so the colors here we've got um it's well, first let me tell you what it is. It's fill fill silk by Zytron or Zetron, and I have peach, tangerine, definitely rainbow colors. I picked these out individually. Okay, so peach, tangerine, red, celery, pastel blue. Again, each hank was $15. And let's try to turn the page. Come on, page. The next color is well, the purple is lilac, dark denim, and that's it. Okay, so that's the colors. I clearly picked out one of each for um, to do something with rainbow and clearly didn't look at the weight of the yarn because that is, if we're lucky, that's a one weight. It looks fatter on this screen, as most people do. They say uh, cameras put 10 pounds on you. Who knows? All right, then... Yeah, I was totally, I mean, if, if I were a drinker still, I would have said this was definitely a drunken bozo shopping spree, but I don't drink anymore. Well, once in a while I have a few, but I can handle it. Oh, Moo Bomb. You're very fortunate to see Moo because you never see Moo Radley because he hides all the time. Okay, so I did get six balls. Let me just, oh, here we go. Okay, perfect. All right, so there's, this is Brighton is the uh, type of it, of yarn. Uh, it's a multi-metallic. This is Bright, Bright's, Bright's multi-metallic. Uh, and it's the Brighton Scassel. Scassel, hope you could see that made in Italy. So I have gotten, those are three fifty dollars each. Again, I wouldn't have spent that. I don't know, because I'm really cheap. Well, you gotta be on the cheap when you're paying bills. And I wouldn't have gotten any of this if it wasn't prior to 
uh, recipes. Oh, I've got one extra of that color. I clearly thought they were larger um, amounts of yarn. I, I must not have paid attention to the yardage on these. And all right, so there's five of the multicolor, and then can you see so I don't have to take it out of the bag? That is the same as this. And that colorway is autumn multi attack. Uh, mul yeah, right? Put the teeth back in. Multi autumn multi metallic. Okay, so let's, in case you're interested in the specs, these are all $3.50 each. Um, whoop. And I'm just going to try to pull this out. Oh, it, it, it's a little rough. It would, I mean, yeah, I would still wear it around my neck. I mean, if you have sensitive, sensitive skin, maybe not. And there are no, oh, on the back. Never mind. Never mind, lovelies. I'm just loving the fact that you're getting a chill with Moo. Okay, it's 42% wool, 42% acrylic, and 14% polymide, 2% metallic polyester. They're 55 yards or 50 grams in each donut. And I bought six of these and I bought six of the autumn. Alrighty, so no idea what I'm doing with those. It's kind of a cool looking, oh yeah, let me try to get on the camera here. It's that kind of a yarn where it's got like the fancy. I like using these, though. You can come up with some cool stuff. All right, so we're almost done here, folks. Hang in there. Okay. So, clearly, clearly I might have had a few cocktails at Rusty's house before I purchased these, because I, this is, goes against what I normally do. All right, what do we have left? A couple more items. Let's, oh, wow. Okay. And, they sent me a Jolly Rancher that has melted in and opened a little bit in the uh, traveling. So we won't eat that. We'll give that to the man who lives here. Okay, so now these look like they're all the same type. Again, I clearly thought they were larger than they are. <laughs> I really have to pay more attention. I would just want on like a, you know, you get that... Uh, manic -y, I need to buy something or go to the casino mode and that's apparently what I was in during this time of purchasing these items but it's all good it's all good and, and some of these might go in the um, giveaways we're gonna be having because we're coming up to our one year and we'll do a couple we don't do lives we don't you know the whole I love what people do with their podcast podiversaries where they have people donate stuff and all that kind of stuff and you have a live and I love being there but I don't do lives we don't have the capacity to do lives so um, we won't be having one of those so and, and it's like the end of August so maybe maybe out of the grace of whatever uh, I'll have internet or something by that point but I doubt it anyway so these next items are um, I on that side uh, Timidy Yarn by Haiku. Um, I'm going to guess. Okay, so this colorway is four of each. Sorry for the crinkles, but crinkles aren't so bad because you know there's yarn inside or cheese. All right, the dark, that first over here, that's chocolate milk goldfish. Wow, that's a crazy name for color. This other one in the bag is, hold on, I gotta turn the page, bear with, uh, same company, and it's raspberry purple. And this is all the timid, timid D. Okay, we have those. Um, this red one. Okay, so this red one here is gypsy red milk chocolate, because it definitely, I hope you can see it. it it has red and browns, which I like red and brown together. And then the last, or the second to last, is deep turquoise kiwi. Absolutely deep turquoise kiwi. That's a perfect name. 
And then the last one, and then I'll take one of these out, um, is Natural Olive Sahara Sand. All right, really pretty. Let's take one out and see the specs. Did you hear that over all the screen, all the crunchy, crunchy, crunchy? Or as Sweet Ashley says, crinkle alert. Oh, again, super scrumptious yarn deliciousness. Oh my goodness. Okay, so Timothy Hank, a lot smaller than I had thought it was going to be. 40% wool, 43% acrylic, 17% nylon. There's 224 meters, doesn't give me my yardage, it's a 50 gram ball, so if it's 224 meters, yeah, like I'm going to pretend I'm going to do a math issue now. Math is an issue. Um, so it's more than that, because in meters there's less, so there's probably like 250 yards or, or thereabouts, I'm guessing. In each hank, which again, I wouldn't have naturally normally bought this, and it's does it say what weight it is? Let's see. Oh, there's more writing here. Hold on. All right. Doesn't say. It has a P in a circle. I don't know. Maybe maybe you guys that know about yarn stuff can understand that. I don't understand that. But it's it's like maybe a one or a two weight, and it has a little halo. So no frogging this one. Ah, nightmare Frogger. So anyway, though, that's uh, an unusual yarn boxing for me because I would not... Oh, okay, now I know why. I would not have paid $2 a hank. Well, I might have paid $2 a, a hank for that because that was pretty. Um, I think I told you the other, like, one-way yarn. I don't know why I did that. Uh, that was $15 a hank, and those little donuts said that they were $3.50 a donut, and the other ones were $4 a donut, so normally wouldn't have paid that, and the reason that I did buy them, so I was sober, just saying, uh, is because they were on sale. They had a July yarn clearance sale. So the, the total would have been, you know, before shipping and all that stuff and tax, the total would have been $235 for this haul, and I got it for $117.50, and then I guess the shipping and tax were included on top of that. I, I don't know. So that's why the mystery is solved. We solved that mystery. Yay. Um, all right, that was that. I'm waiting for one more. I did order from Premiere, and I believe that's coming like in two days, and I'll open that for you guys. And it is fun. I love watching yarn unboxings, unless I'm on a diet. If I'm on a diet, I try to stay away from the unboxings because it just hurts my heart. But um, I know a lot of people like, like, like Madonna. Hello, Madonna. Love you. Um, she loves unboxings, so... Hopefully she's watching and enjoying this. Anyway, bye lovelies. Uh, have a wonderful day. Stay cool and be well and be kind as you are and uh, be you. That was lame. Hold on. I'm doing a lot of lame knocks. Much better. Bye-bye.